Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Bangkok, Thailand, and today for lunch we're going to a restaurant in Thai. It's known as Rheun Jarung, and in English they call it the Ayutthaya Real Chillin' House. It's one of the hardest restaurants to book in Bangkok, in, in probably all of Thailand. And I know right now they have a one and a half year waiting list, so if you make a reservation, you have to wait one and a half years to eat there, one and a half years. But today is a very special day. My friend Pitan, he has a reservation at Rheun Jarung, and he invited Ying and I for lunch today. They're also known for their atmosphere, for the location, uh, for the food, the entire like experience. And so I can't wait to share it all with you in this video. We're on our way. The restaurant is located in Ayutthaya, which is the province right next, just outside of Bangkok, but a little over an hour drive from central Bangkok. Very interested in this restaurant, not only for the food, but also because of the atmosphere and also because of the scarcity of this restaurant. I know they open up reservations in literally in minutes, like they sell out for an entire year. Right, and you will arrive at your destination. There's a dog in the middle of the road. Yes. Be that. Okay, we made it. Okay, right, right here, right? Cool. It's off the main highway. Get into the countryside, into the rice paddies. And I believe this is the house. Oh yeah, next to a lake too. That was about an hour and a half drive. I uh, ran into a little bit of traffic, but we made it here. You get off the main highway. It's in the middle, surrounded by rice paddies. There's a small pond to the right-hand side. Uh, there's all these clay pots, clay jars filled with potted plants, and then the traditional style Thai home, which is where the restaurant is. Uh, we met the owner and they are cooking up the meal. This kitchen is beautiful. Oh, oh these are the river shrimp. Oh man, okay, I think we're, we're also eating river shrimp. The whole kitchen is amazing. It overlooks the pond, there's ducks. It's like open air. They have like, it's just a fully open air kitchen with all stations all around where they're frying, where they're assembling, where they're making the namprik, where they're making the vegetables and frying fish and frying pork. This is a lovely atmosphere. For the river shrimp, what he does is he butterfly cuts them, adds a little butter into the center, and then they grill over pow. They roast over the charcoal. Just, the, yeah, that aroma of roasting shrimp is wonderful. Uh, and then they serve them with uh, a number of different sauces. The gung pao, the roasted shrimp, are just beautiful coming off the grill. The head butter, that tamale, has just melted into a, like a pool of... It's like melted butter, except it's natural. It's the real thing. It's from the head. Oh man, it's just like spilling out of the shell. Well, the owner is bringing out the dishes, but we're all just taking photos. The food, the, the beauty, the natural beauty of the food, the presentation, it's spectacular. <laughs> It's kind of like buffet style. 
Yeah. It's kind of buffet style, yeah. So you, they put all the food, like the food literally covers the entire table. The plates are massive. And these are only half of the order. This is only half of the order. Yeah. It's, lots more food is still coming. Uh, About like 20, 27, 26, 27 dishes. And you chose only the dishes that you really love. Yes. Oh, the dishes cooked by his mom and his mother-in-law. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, and you were even telling me the numprik because there's there's a whole plate of uh, boiled vegetables that you eat and also and it's mackerel. But it's the same thing? But it's the same thing, but different like tests. And one is made by moms and one by, mom, by mother-in-law. And one is made by mother-in-law. Yes. So they're each going to have a different taste even though it's the same be, relish be, dip. Because his mom and his mother-in-law came from different towns. Regions of Thailand? Yes. Oh. So it's like local taste. Of Ken, can you tell me like just a little bit about the booking process here and how hard it is to book? For this year, he he opened like at 8 o'clock and uh, it took only like 8 seconds. So it's fully booked for whole years. And for next year. So, oh, he opened up by, by internet or by online, line? On, online. On, on the Facebook page. On the Facebook page. And it's eight, eight seconds. seconds. He opens up reservations in eight seconds. The entire reservations is completely gone for one full year, 365 days. But then it's only open on the weekends, right? It's only open on uh, So weekend. that's how it, it it's three, scarce. Three, three rounds per day. Three rounds per day. So oh, wow. every Saturday and Sunday, we um, six group. The entire massive wooden table is just covered in massive dishes. This is like Thanksgiving, Thai Thanksgiving on the next level. There was one dish I was really looking forward to, which I had seen in some photos, which is the patsatao, which are the stink beans, but so unique. They take river prawns, they like hollow it out and then stir fry it with the chili paste the curry paste the steam beans and then like refill it back into its shell and its head everybody is just amazed at the, the gigantic colorful mega plates of food but there's still more dishes coming but we're just gonna get started so I'm gonna take this one actually I'll just take both at the same time onto the plate both versions grab some vegetables there's some bitter melon this one is darker in color oh yeah and I got like a bunch of chilies stuffed within this little piece of bitter melon. Mm. That one is more sweet, but it's also thicker and more garlicky. Both of them are totally different, but both both are actually very good. I'm gonna try the gung pad sata. And it looks like it looks like there's extra shrimp, like little shrimp, stuffed back in here along with its body. Probably because there's more than can like there's more than stuff. And look at that. Just look at the thickness of the, the chilies curry paste that they fried it with. Set this down onto my rice. And try some of the, try some of this. Oh wow. Look at Gung Pao Zata, it's awesome. It's so good. You taste the fragrance of the chilies, but then those pieces of shrimp are so muscular, so sweet, and like so, so like spongy firm. Oh, that's good. Really good. Okay, this is the the tom sap nu, which is like a sour soup with beef. You can see some um, some n. What, if there's some uh, what is it called in English? <laughs> Tendon, yeah, 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 yes, awesome. Tendon, tendon in English. There's beef meatballs, and there should be like a, like a sour spicy soup. Mm, mm. It's so spongy and so firm. It's really beefy, and then it has like this sharp sourness. Well, that flavor is incredible. I think you taste the the coriander roots in there. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's awesome. Forty-five. No, that's Oh. 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 O
หมูสามสองหมูสี่สามสองหมูสี่สามสองหมูสามสี่สามสอง There's a term in Thai called Bat Dia, which means like one sun, one day, one one day of sunshine, and usually you use it to make meat and to dry meat in the sun. So you can have Mu Dat Dia, which is pork one sun, which is like half dried and then fried. Here he makes two different versions. One is beef, one is pork, um, and he has an exact time that he puts it out in the sun in the afternoon to dry it. And we have both versions. The pork is. The pork is at the pork is at 4:32. The beef is at 3:45. <laughs> okay, that is precision. The exact time. The 3:45 beef. Oh wow! You can put this. Oh, that's beautiful too. Look at that. Look at that chunk. Oh, it's like a heart. <laughs> no, this is probably not a one biter because it's it should be kind of like jerky-ish. Oh. oh wow. Oh, that is incredible. It's like it's not fully jerky because it's only one day of sun, but it's you can taste that it's slightly dehydrated. That increases the flavor, and just like it's slightly dried out, it's slightly chewy, but the flavor just gets released with every single bite. Oh yeah, it's amazing. Okay, let's try the the 4:32 pork. It's kind of like one of the tables where. Like you can sit down, but eventually you just got to be standing up because the table is so huge and there's so much food. Oh, oh wow! The pork is amazing too. The pork is a little more tender than the beef, but they both have that like dehydrated addition of extra flavor. This one is the fried pork belly. Oh wow! Oh, that sauce. Kind of like a num chim soup. No, it's more just like straight up um, crushed green chilies to me. It tastes like that's refreshing. That is crispy. Okay, I'm gonna reach over and try some of the gang kua hoi kong with cha om. This is a. It's like a snail curry with uh, the cha om shoots and then really like rich coconut milk. Put this over onto my rice. Add a little bit more of the, the coconut milk. All right. Oh, I didn't even realize I'm eating with two spoons. Mm. I love how there's so many vegetables in it. So many shoots. You really taste the cha om, which has a very unique flavor. This dish is not spicy, but it's really rich from the coconut milk. And then you've got those snails um, that kind of have a a bit of a like squiddy, leathery texture to them. Okay, this one is another specialty here, le pok konki. It's like a congee with seafood. There's rice. It's like a rice porridge. But look at that, like the chilies in there. And the fish, that looks awesome. Oh, it just kind of slides out of the spoon. It's like a really thick, kind of sticky congee. And look at the like shimmer of that, the the transparency of that. Now that is comfort food. After beginning this meal, I already know now why it's called the chilling house. Because like the portions are so massive, so you eat a little bit, you then kind of like lean back and relax. They have some chairs around, you look at the view, then you eat some more, then you just keep on repeating that until all the food is gone and probably the day is over as well. But this really is ultimate chilling. You got the natural breeze, you've got the the environment, the atmosphere. I'm gonna begin with the river prawn, and you can see that tamale. You can see oh, it's just oozing the body. One of my favorite things to do is take a fork, kind of just twirl it out of the shell. Oh, 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 look at that! You then take a piece and then dip it into the the head butter. Dip that into the head butter. And then dip that into the the nam chim seafood, which is like a combination of garlic, chilies. Um, and probably some fish sauce.
Never had Oh wow, that is spectacular, the smoky aroma. I like their, their num chim, it's very, you really taste the green chilies. It tastes like, to me it tastes more salty rather than fish saucy. And then, yeah, nice and garlicky, but those green chilies, they stand out. Mm. Okay, I need a refill on that, the green chilies. Mm. And it's not too spicy, but it has like such a wonderful aroma. This one is the gang som with uh, bamboo shoots. You can see these. I think I need to chop this in half. You can see the turmeric, how yellow it is in there. It looks amazing. Mm. Mm. The pickled bamboo shoots is what you immediately taste. I kind of like pickled fermented taste. You taste the turmeric in there, the chilies, it's sour. Mm. It's really good. <laughs> Wait, and I think this squid is deep fried as well, but there's like no, no batter on it, so it almost looks boiled. And then I will dip into the, the sauce. Scoop. Mm. Again, what I love is that Nam Jim. It's so, it's like the, the, the fragrance of the green chilies and that like garlickiness is what makes it. And I think it is salt in there. Wow, that, that flavor is amazing, the sauce. Okay, I'm moving back over to the platter of vegetables and the nam prik. Uh, the two different versions. I really like this version, this one here. Uh, this, one, this one is more sweet, it's more thick. It's like more balanced maybe I would say, but this one is sharper, it's spicier, it's more sour, and it's uh, more spicy. So this is the version I like. So it's, it's, it's awesome that you get two different versions of the same shrimp paste chili you dip relish, but they both have totally different flavors. I like the uh, right one. The one for mother-in-law. The one for mother-in-law. This one is the mother-in-law. Because the mother-in-law came from uh, Pepperi. So that, that's how they do pot sweet. Pepperi is quite sweet, yeah. Yes. And where's the where's oh, the, yeah. oh, he's here. from Ayutthaya? Yes. Okay. 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 Oh, wow, yeah. The Namprek is amazing. This is the Ayutthaya version, the Namprek Api. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, I got the plate of Yam Tuapu. This is the, the winged bean salad. There's egg here, there's winged bean, there's shrimp, there's dried chilies. Oh, there's a shrimp left. Okay, we gotta try this next. <laughs> Mm. Mm. It's a little bit on the sweet side, but that's how it typically is, yam tofu. Got the crunch of the winged bean, which is similar to like a green bean with, with wings on it. You've got the crispy fried chili on there, and then I think there's some minced pork in there too, and the shallots. <laughs> The mix, the variety, the hugeness, and I think just the family, the community, the friend, everything is sharing with friends and joking and laughing and just having fun. It's time for dessert now, and this is mamuang hao with ice. And mamuang hao is like, I think it's like a little type of plum, almost like cherry looking. Mm. Oh, that's cold and flaky. I believe that that's uh, duck an chan, which are the butterfly pea flowers. And then you taste kind of like a candied, fruity taste to it. And those little plums down there. And they're kind of like that sweet and salty contrast and kind of crisp. So if there is ever a meal to chill afterwards. This is that meal. Both the food, the quantity, and just the relaxing atmosphere here. And like the rice paddy fields, it's hot. It's the sun is blazing, but it's the, you've got the, the breeze here coming off the fields. Uh, it's shady. It's so chill. It's so relaxing. 
รวมคนที่แรงโอ้ใจคำนั้นเลยอ่ะงั้นเดี๋ยวผมออกก่อนอ That was an amazing meal, and we had a chance to just hang out with the owner p i m i o and his uh, family. And he's also such a genius in the way that he markets, in the way that he has uh, created his restaurant. Only open on the weekends, so it's scarcity. It's high in demand, uh, but the food stands up. The food, like the dishes that we had, which are actually dishes that p i t a n chose uh, because he's been there a few times. So he chose the menu. He chose the dishes, some of his favorite dishes that he's had there. The food was outstanding. Trying to think what my favorite dishes were, but definitely the gung patsata. That was incredibly delicious, and the presentation. That's like some of the best presentation I've seen for gung patsata. Also, I really like the oh the t h u m s a p n u a aloy mark, and I think ties uh, as well as me. But I, I mean, you feel a sense of nostalgia, even though the house is modern built, but it's traditional Thai style, and so it's a sense of nostalgia. It's Thai cultural. Another thing is that you really need to go with the entire group. You you it's private, so you have the entire restaurant, you have the entire house, bottom floor to yourself, to your group. So you have to go with a big group. You have to go. With friends, and that's what's the best thing about it is because it really is a chillin' house. You go there to hang out with your friends, to eat, to enjoy the scenery, to enjoy the food. But you gotta be with friends. That's just it's that makes it way that makes it the best. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. I want to say a huge thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now. Also, click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Ayutthaya, from Thailand. See you on the next video.